is up guys the time has come for a tutorial on how to get FTP on your PS3 on uh, any custom firmware for 3.55 um, alright if obviously you need a custom firmware for this I'm using GeoHot's custom firmware so uh, if you don't know how to install a custom firmware on your PS3 go ahead and click the link in the middle of the video right now and uh, watch that video I'll show you how to install it onto your PS3 once you have uh, custom firmware installed, what you're going to want is go to the link in the file or in the, in the description below this video, and uh, I'll have a link to the FTP server for the PS3. Uh, download that dot package file, and what you're going to need is you're going to need just as if you were installing on a custom firmware or installing a custom firmware to your PS3, you're going to need a USB device or flash drive. In my case, I um, I can't find my other 8 gigabyte um, USB, so I actually have an old MP3 player that is a USB that works. So I'm using that. But anyways, what you're going to do is download that package file and install it into the main directory of your um, USB. So let me show you what I mean by that. You don't want to put it in any um, folders or anything like that. So let me go ahead and open it up. So this is, right as I open up my USB on my computer, this is the main directory. That's where you're going to want to put it. So as you see, I have FTP server dash or underscore 12 dot package. Um, once you have it copied to there, you're going to go ahead and take your USB out, pop it into your PS3. Um, I'm not going to do it since I already have it installed, but you'll head, out, head on over to your PS3. And... You'll, on your custom firmware you should have an install packages or install package files folder something like that and um, it's not showing anything for mine because I don't have a USB in but it'll show you all the packages that are in your main directory on US, your USB and you'll go ahead and uh, click I don't know why my camera is going out of focus but you'll go ahead and click install on whichever one is there it'll show you it's installed and once it has you'll go to PlayStation um, down in the very last folder Mine says PlayStation 3, and you'll have said package, Blackbox FTP version 1.2, and you can go ahead and launch that. And once it starts up, you will get 192, or whatever your IP address is. Don't press X, obviously, that'll exit. Um, copy down that IP address somewhere if you can't memorize it, and then you'll head on over to your computer. and download a FTP program. I use FileZilla. I'll put a link in the description for that. And you're going to want to put the IP address there. And then when I first started, I didn't put anything for the username and password and it should connect. So I'll go ahead and hit connect. And as you see over here is showing you the files you can access. That's the PS3. That's your computer. Um, so for Modern Warfare 2 and whatnot, you can transfer patch files from your computer to your um, PS3. So for example, to find my Modern Warfare 2 patch, um, you go into PS3 and you go into dev um, underscore hdd0, then game, oops, if I can open it, and then you would find, for me, it's... Um, BLUS30337 or 377, sorry. USR, DIR, and then there's the patch. So that's just an example. I'm not showing you how to copy patches over modded patches, all that, but that's just an example of what you can do with FTP. So more tutorials coming up, including backing up your games and whatnot. So subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.